Hi, I'm Kay Morgan from the School of Physics and Astronomy. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the study choices our school can offer you and the amazing facilities and people that support those opportunities. Many technologies that make your life more comfortable or allow you to work more efficiently in the 21st century are due to engineered solutions that are based on discoveries in physics. These discoveries underpin our consumer devices, such as your smartphone or the medical technologies at the heart of the health system. These applications and many more are based on fundamental discoveries that come about through human curiosity by exploring deeply the physical world that's around us. Astrophysics extends the application of physics and the bounds of human curiosity to other planets, the stars beyond and the entire universe seeking to provide humanity with an understanding of our place in the cosmos. The skills that you learn through studying physics or astrophysics can lead to research in these areas, but are also highly applicable to many more careers, such as developing medical instrumentation, radiotherapy treatment of cancer, modelling climate change and weather, analysing big data and financial systems, developing innovative ways to address sustainability, exploring emergent behaviour in complex biological systems, and understanding the function of the brain, to name but a few. Monash University offers the full spectrum of subjects in physics, astronomy and astrophysics, everything from astronomy and atomic physics to X-ray optics and zeptoscale physics, the scale of physics at 10 to the minus 21 metres, which is the length scale explored at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN, Switzerland. If you're interested in these topics, you can start exploring them today with a massive online open course or MOOC like the Monash unit, How to Survive on Mars. But we're here today to talk about a full degree in science. Choosing to study science at Monash would give you access to state-of-the-art equipment, computing facilities and custom designed teaching spaces that are designed specifically to promote learning and student-centred activities. You'd benefit from working with researchers and with teachers who are world leaders in their fields. You'd have the opportunity to build skills that are highly valued by employers and to achieve your intellectual potential. When it comes to selecting subjects, whether you want to immerse yourself in as much physics and astrophysics as possible, or if you just want to broaden your studies with some elective units, we have lots of options for you. For further details of all our courses and units, you can check out information in the Monash Handbook, uh, but I'll give you just a bit of a quick overview now. At Monash, you can undertake a three-year BSc or a double degree, which combines the Bachelor of Science with other studies. There are many such double degree options, for example, in engineering, computer science, arts, law, commerce, and many more. You can also enrol in our specialist four-year degrees, the Bachelor of Science Advanced Research or the Bachelor of Science Advanced Global Challenges. For further for the details, see the Monash Handbook. As part of your Bachelor of Science, you can specialise in physics or astrophysics by completing a minor, a major or an extended major in physics or astrophysics. Our majors and extended majors have also been accredited by the Australian Institute of Physics. To complete a major in physics, you select eight of the units shown, starting with the first year sequence PHS 1011 and PHS 1022, or 1001 and 1002. For a major in astrophysics, there's a similar selection of units, but note the options for the first year sequence are the same. Let's look at the first year sequences, as well as some of the elective options in more detail. Where you would start depends on your degree, on what you studied in VCE, on what your interests are and how far you want to take the physics or astrophysics studies. If you commence a Bachelor of Science having passed Year 12 Physics and you'd like to continue in study in physics, you should select the units PHS 1011 and PHS 1022. This sequence would let you continue to physics or astrophysics in second year. This sequence is calculus based, so it requires you study the basis of differentiating and integrating functions in VCA, VCE maths methods or similar. Um, if you've passed VCE physics but have only done further maths in VCE or equivalent, then you would need to contact the school to discuss your options. There are maths requirements that go alongside these units and progression to second year. For example, many students would also select the two units shown here. 
Science engineering double degree students can fulfil the maths requirements with equivalent engineering units. Again, the Monash handbook provides the specific details. No Year 12 physics, but thinking you'd like to take up physics at uni? Then you can take PHS 1001. This is algebra based, and so it only requires VC further maths or similar. PHS 1001 is a science unit, but you can alternatively take it as an elective. Notice it can be difficult to fit single standalone units into a double degree because of the requirements you may need to fulfil for each degree. But if you choose to come to Monash, you'll be provided with specific and tailored advice on your degree structure at the time of your enrolment. Now you could just stop at that point after 101, but if you've enjoyed PHS 101, you could complete a first year sequence by continuing with PHS 1002 in second semester. PHS 1002 does require calculus, so if you need that background, this will be accommodated by selecting an appropriate semester one maths unit. As with PHS 11 and 1022, the sequence of 1001 and 1002 would let you continue to physics or astrophysics in second year, provided you take the required supporting maths units again. Specific details can be found in the uh, Monash handbook or you can contact the school if you have any questions. If you enrol in an engineering degree with Year 12 Physics, you can also take PHS 1002 as a standalone elective. But if you want to continue with a minor or major in Physics or Astrophysics, then you must select the appropriate sequence. We also offer units in Semester 1 and 2 in Astronomy. These units don't have any specific prerequisites and are suitable for a broad range of students, including those who come from outside the Faculty of Science. You can choose them as science units or as electives. You can choose to do both, but you can also choose to do just one of them. However, while they're not required for further studies in astrophysics, we'd recommend these units even if you've selected a physics sequence. In semester one, we also offer a physics elective for biosciences, PHS 1031. This unit is particularly designed to complement studies in the biological sciences. It's similar to PHS 1001 in that it doesn't require you to have year 12 physics and the maths is algebra based and no calculus is required. However, if you have year 12 physics or you think you might want to continue with studies in physics or astrophysics, then you should choose PH S1001 or 1011 as appropriate. Further Monash subjects to consider include Introduction to Scientific Coding, scientific Science Internship and Career Skills for Scientists. The school offers students access to extraordinary teaching spaces, equipment and research infrastructure. You'll have the opportunities to extend yourself through individual research projects, mentoring activities such as the Women in Physics or WIPA program, a Hutton Westfield Astronomical Observatory and the amazing experience we offer at our Prato campus in Italy. Where you have an experience where you can uh, get up close and personal with the, the settings and artefacts related to aspects of astronomical history. Make sure you check out all our other videos on the Open Day platform. These provide virtual tours of our undergraduate teaching spaces including fun demonstrations of physics and virtual tours of research labs. You can also find out what's happening in the school through our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. I hope you consider Monash as the place to launch your career and I look forward to seeing you in the School of Physics and Astronomy.